Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today we're gonna to talk about AC and DC voltage mode testing on your multimeter. All right, so this is another simple concept, but first and foremost, before we go ahead and dive on in here, I need to show you how to get to AC and DC voltage mode on your multimeter, okay? Now, AC and DC voltage mode are actually two separate different modes on your multimeter, but they function in a very similar way. It just depends on what kind of voltage you're gonna be testing, okay? If you're gonna be testing AC voltage or DC voltage. AC being alternating current and DC being direct current. Now, I will go ahead and tell you right now, you're pretty much gonna be using the DC voltage mode almost exclusively when you're working on mobile electronics. Now, how do we get there? Once again, we have our super awesome Fluke 115 here in the off position, and you're gonna see two Vs right here, okay? Now, again, not every multimeter is the same, so take a look at yours and use your brain for a minute. It's not gonna hurt you. You gotta use it anyway at some point, right? So, with that being said, you see one here with a little squiggly line over it, that's alternating current or AC voltage mode, and then let's move one over. We got a straight line followed by a bunch of dotted lines under it. That's DC voltage mode, okay? So, what are they used for? They are used to check the voltage in a line, okay? Um, to give you an example, and let's go ahead and just switch over to a different camera. All right, so we can see the multimeter here and we see two probes sitting here. These probes are actually not, they are not hooked up to this multimeter. They are actually hooked up to my power supply right now, which is a DC power supply, direct current power supply, okay? Now, I have my probes right here and as you can tell, we're in DC voltage mode, okay? So when I actually hook these leads up to these down here, I should get a measurement of the voltage in the line, okay? Now, on my DCPS, I have it set to two volts, okay? So what I'm gonna do is positive on positive here, negative on negative. Well, look at that, two volts, all right? Two volts and some change. Now, my, my power supply is not the nicest power supply, so it's kinda here and there, but for the most part, we're pretty much dead on, okay? Let's take it off. So with that being said, why and where would you use this? Why would you use the, why would you use the DC voltage mode, okay? Well, throughout any kind of board that you're working on, if you're looking at the schematics, you're gonna come across things that have voltage attached to them, okay? So if you're looking at an IC chip or you know, if you're looking at a connector or something like that, it may be outputting a certain kind of voltage or it may have a certain voltage attached to it that continues on to another part of the board. And if they're not being output correctly, then they're not gonna work correctly. So the DC voltage mode is how we're gonna go in there and we're actually gonna check and see if they're actually outputting proper voltage. So give another example. We're gonna use the exact same thing again. So if we know that a specific circuit is supposed to be 2.6 volts, okay? It's 2.6 volts and we need to make sure that that is exactly what it is. We turn it to DC voltage mode, we take our probes, we come down here, man, I have the most mixed up multimeter leads ever, this is ridiculous. And say we touch our black to ground, which will be any ground on the board, and then we go in, we use our microscope, and we find our little baby point, and we touch it. We'll look at that, 2.655. That would tell us that we're pretty much on point. But what if we went in there and we tested it, and we're supposed to get 2.6, but we actually get 2.2. Well, that kind of tells us something's wrong. So with that being said, I hope you see some of the merits of using DC voltage mode in your board level diagnosis. It is a very valuable, 100% indispensable tool in your everyday board level diagnosis. So. so hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you wanna start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, 
if you are super about it and you want to learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you, or maybe you just want to say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them. Seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well, guess what? I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description. Boom. Right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god. Check out my stuff. Then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.